Hey, what's going on guys? This is John from Power and Fun. In this video, we're going to be going over adding copper heat sinks to the Raspberry Pi 3. Uh, this is a particular uh, 3B+, plus, but it's the same process for the 3. I'm sure for the 4 will be very similar as well. This comes from a kit on Amazon. Like I said, these are three copper heat sinks. Now these in particular are using thermal conductive adhesive tape or thermal tape. Some people say the tape is just fine. Uh, some people say it's garbage and to use thermal paste. Um, it's all your preference. If you're going to overclock a Raspberry Pi, obviously you, you may want to take the precaution to go through all the right steps of uh, using copper heat sinks, uh, fans, and thermal paste between the chip sets and the copper heat sinks. But overall, just make sure if you want to add heat sinks to kind of help with cooling, just make sure to get them seated on each chip properly. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell to get notified of more videos like this. Feel free to leave me a comment or a question below. Until next time, be safe, be kind, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.